Today we have a quick exercise. I have the sketch and we're going to start with the pen tool because we'll need to define all of the shapes and then we'll add small details in the character design. Double click on the field right now and let's try to play around with a brown color, maybe something like this and start with the face because the face is always the first thing I start with. As you can probably notice inside the layers panel over here, I have the sketch on top and it's set to multiply. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, then you can definitely download the sketch and the final vector files from the description of this video check it out below right now i'm doing the basic shapes and once i finish developing all of these ones then i'll gradually start adding details to them you can start with the face and then continue with the body i'll start with the neck over here and maybe do some like this if you're wondering why i'm doing this <laughs> large shape over here it's just because i'm going to mask it with the clothes the main shape that you're seeing are actually clothes it's going to be a different color and then all of these will be actual details which will be represented by stroked outline Let's choose an accent color for the clothes. I'm going to go with something bluish, maybe something purple. Hit OK. And then again, with the pen tool, I'm going to start tracing all of these elements. Start from the base of the neck over here and then just follow along. Try to have these pads as smooth as possible without having too many anchors. From over here, this one is going to be actually masked by the ball and the hand. So you don't really have to be super careful with it. Follow along with the lines over here because this is the line of the hands. And this part is going to be masked by the spaghetti. I didn't mention today's team, but it's eating a large bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> so that was the initial idea. I heard someone mention it and I was like, I definitely need to make an illustration out of it. Let's do this element as well close it off and maybe give it a different shade just because i would like to see what i'm doing here same thing over here at the top if you want to sample a particular color just click on any shape and that will get you that color code zoom in and then with the pen tool you can start drawing the hands while i was doing the sketch i was having a really bad time uh, trying to figure out how i can draw the hands <laughs> it's pretty interesting how i'm doing tutorials on the internet but i can't really draw hands so what i was doing was actually posing like trying to figure out like what the hand would look like if i would hand uh, a fork or something and trying to recreate that close it off and now i'll need to send this behind hit command and left bracket once and it's going to send it behind for the ball i'll actually use this shade just because i wanted to see it when i'm drawing it play around till you find something that works over here I'm, i just want to have a smooth transition and then something that's pretty curved at the top because i want to have this detail that will make it more like a bow if you see anything that you want to adjust switch to the direct selection tool it's over here on the left hand side and then move these anchors further down hit command left bracket a couple of times and now you can see this element but again it's blending in so let's just make it a darker shade of gray probably this one would work just fine huh and it looks like i would need to create an element that goes over the ball over here so with this selected just create an element masks it like that and maybe bring this one to the front hit command right bracket a couple of times just try to follow along with the sketch because i would like to mask it with uh, with the actual hand let's bring it forward couple of times same here because now this is behind and over here i would like to create a small shape that's going to show this part so what i'm going to do is actually draw a shape that goes like this close it off and then with this one selected with the fork and this one make sure to select them hit shift m that's the shape builder tool and while holding down option or alt you can actually remove this one so when you look at it you say that this is one shape but actually it's two shapes let's disable the sketch and you can see that this is actually a shape that's above everything and that makes it like it's just one thing for the spaghetti i'm just going to start from over here try to do random shapes i don't think it's super important to get it right there shouldn't be any good way of doing it I think if they don't look consistent, I think all of these bumps will look a bit more interesting. Instead of making them exactly the same, take the eyedropper tool and sample the white. And what's left is actually the hair. So we're going to make the hair from two shapes. The first one is actually the one that's going to mask the face over here. And then you're going to have a different one in the background. Let's sample this dark color over here and start working with it. Okay, so this would be the first one. And then I'm going to create a different shape over here that's masked this part. I don't want them to overlap too much with the ears. So that's why I did it this way. And now I'm going to create a separate element that's over here. I'm going to start from 
the back and then do a couple of waves just for dramatic effect <laughs> i think this is kind of like my style to have some wavy hair and some stroked outlines create all of these make sure that over here you have this interesting loop so i wanted the hair to kind of go like this and then above the ears just start doing some weight uh, same thing on the other side as well let's send it behind everything and take a look at what we have so far disable this just to take a look at the flat illustration i've noticed over here that this doesn't look good at all so with the direct selection tool i'm going to select this anchor and actually round it off this is the fun part which is actually adding details we'll start with the face and i'll sample this color and start drawing a path over here but i'll need to switch it around I'll need to create a stroke that's the same color and with the selector let's increase it maybe to six points i think that looks fine and from the stroke panel over here make sure that it has a rounded cap and a rounded corner if you want to play around with some of these details of course you can create uh, <laughs> different effects like this or maybe just a small earlobe do the same on this side as well deselect it and then if you want to continue from another side with the pen tool click once on the anchor and now you can continue from where you actually started let's do the eyebrow that actually turns it to the nose in my previous illustrations i was i was doing a pretty particular type of nose but this time around i'm going to do a pretty basic one same thing for this eyebrow for the eyes let's actually make them taller in size just because i want her to have kind of like a surprise look she's super excited to eat something so that's why i'm going to make them bigger a bit and let's do the mouth over here this part actually continues over and then you have the top and the bottom let's go to the layers panel and take a quick look for the glasses i'm actually going to use a different color so let's try and create the first shape and i'm actually going to double click and let's pick white i think that will stand out more this looks like an old school frame but i actually saw these uh, glasses a couple of times on instagram they're starting to become trendy do the same for the right one as well now i'm going to use the same color this white to create some spaghettis <laughs> i'm going to start from over here i like for these ones to actually stop where the bow is opening up one that blends in with this one and one that maybe stops only halfway for the details on the black, I'm not going to use white because you think it's a spaghetti. So that's why I'm going to probably use this shade. So let me start drawing something using it. Switch this up. Now you have a stroked outline. Hit V once to deselect and select it again. And now you can actually control the stroke size. Make it 6, same as the other ones. Let's move it below a bit. Just because I would like for those spaghetti to not be visible. Now use this stroke color to actually create the remaining elements. Let's have some separation. Continue from the top. Let's create this is kind of like a sweater, I guess. A small element over here. This element at the elbow. It kind of looks like the True Detective symbol. If you've seen season one of True Detective, uh, there's a symbol that's similar to this. This illustration has nothing to do with True Detective, I promise. Let's do these ones as uh, they would be part of the sweater. And of course, send them behind. This one needs to go behind the fork. And now would be a great time to actually go to the layers panel and disable the sketch. See what we got. This is the initial look. Uh, I can see a couple of things that I would like to do differently. First off, there's no separation over here with the chin so oh <laughs> i think that looks pretty sweet actually okay so no more neck i'm just going to play around with the color a bit so let's select all of the hands and the face double click and probably create something a bit lighter yeah like this so you have way more contrast between the face and the dark bow these ones can probably be the same color as the clothes but we'll need some separation over here so i'll use this element to actually add some separation at the cuffs and this would be the second one is the one that goes right over here i like this illustration but i would like to make it stand out more like play a bit more with negative space and so i'm going to create a rectangle behind everything let's sample a different color let's see this color right click hit range send back and this would be too much negative uh, space so i'm going to create using the curvature tool let's create a wide shape that goes behind everything Let's do something like this that comes over here, goes like that but intersects with parts of the illustration, make it smaller, a bit more compressed and switch it out. Let's make it white and of course I would need to arrange, send back and then bring it forward once. Yeah, right now I don't like because you have this spill and it doesn't look 
gray so let's try to do black we need to make it smaller a bit just because it isn't centered and i think this is way better as i do a couple of hair stray details don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more i put out new videos every monday let me know if you have any ideas of videos that you would like to see right now i really enjoy doing these illustrations just because they're so fun to create and i feel like with each one i kind of improve my my style thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care everybody bye